Go, Betsy Mush. Go, mush. go, 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 mush, mush, mush. Betsy Mush. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is not, not gonna, gonna work. work. Oh, oh so much better. <laughs> and Adam, vloggers living in Colorado. After the pandemic shut everything down in March of 2020, we took a hard look at our life up until that moment and realized we'd barely explored our state in the first five years we'd lived there. This was a wake-up call for us as we were prioritizing all of our time working versus living. So, we decided to get out into the mountains more. Previously on the vlog, we toured you around the property of Outside Design Co, where we showed you our cute tiny cabin and all of the amazing facilities on site. And now, on the vlog. Anytime you have dogs and adventure in the same sentence, you know it's gonna be a good day. You are so handsome and beautiful. I don't know if you're a boy or a girl. Did you know that you can try dog sledding in Breckenridge? The caveat is that you have to book early in the season because they book up quickly and aren't open past a certain point in March or April. Good Times Adventure is located north of Breckenridge on Tiger Road, just under two hours from downtown Denver on a day without traffic. They offer snowmobiling and dog sled tours in the wintertime. They do offer summertime activities as well, but are known for these two. Before we dive into our tour, let's tell you a little bit about what to expect. The tour will take you six miles along the Swan River Valley. It will have six people per tour. The sled is run by Siberian Huskies and each sled will run as a relay, switching between riding in the dog sled running the dog sled, and riding in a small passenger sled with a guide. The ride itself is an hour and a half. The weight limit is 300 pounds on the sled. The minimum age is five, and unfortunately, if you are pregnant, you won't be allowed to participate in this tour. Come dress in layers for cold and snow, similar to how you dress for skiing and snowboarding. You'll be pleased to know that Good Times Adventures does provide snow suits and boots at no extra charge if you do not own any. If you do come on a Saturday or a holiday, please be sure to arrive at least 30 minutes before your tour. Please note that there is no cell service once you arrive. There's plenty of parking on site, and since we arrived early, we meandered around, checked out the property, and got our first glimpse of some very excited pups. Once we got checked in, we headed outside to wait for our furry chariot. It was so exciting to see the sled team whiz past the waiting area. Oh, my gosh! Oh, oh, my gosh. oh Hi, neighbors. <laughs> Once the dogs were settled, we got the green light to meet our furry team. take lots of photos and video. And it was at this point Stop. that I got a little bit emotional. Here you go. I'm a sucker for animals. After we got our fill of licks and cuddles, Brooke, our guide, introduced herself. So you guys, my name is Brooke. I'll be your guide out here today. So we're gonna start guys by meeting our team out here today. Up front, all these guys are super friendly, so feel free to love up on them. We have Mr. Farmer. Farmer is eight years, or nine years old, just turned nine. This is his last season with us before he retires. Farmer, guys, is training Valkyrie today. Valkyrie's two and a half years old. She's a little girl. She's awesome, though. Really awesome at her job. Lead dogs, guys, super smart. Know their left and rights really well. Mr. Ragnar here, guys, is super sweet. He loves attention. He can just be a little head shy sometimes. Wait. We have this bandit as well. So Audrey had glaucoma. Basically treat it till we can't and then remove the eye. She's 
still can be awesome lead dog for us though. She's very sweet. Miso is a little weird, but she's very sweet as well. We have cir or Circle Dog. He is a perfectly circled tail, guys. And we have Pongo. Pongo and Circ are kind of going to be our playful ones today. Probably wrestle, bark at each other while we're running. We're going to hop back here, kind of talk about our safety stuff. So we have a driver, passenger up here. The rest of y'all are on that green sled. And then we just alternate throughout the trip today. Most importantly, just don't step on this black part. It can get super slippery if some snow comes up on it. The easiest way, guys, two feet, sit down, or just step over. I find that's the best way to get on and off. Here, the rest of y'all are on that green sled. While we're moving, two feet on the black rails, two hands on the hand bow, nice bent knees, ready to go. So for turns, guys, you're always going to want to lean into the turn. So if we go for a right hand turn, once you take that right hip, lean to the right. Right here is the brake. This is the most important part of the dog sled. These guys know where home is and they get meat soup after each run. Aww. So they will happily leave us today, especially when we're pulling it a little downhill. I cannot run as quickly as they can, all right? And now it's time for the ride. Yay! During the first leg of the trip, we get to ride in the sled being pulled by Brooke. Many breaks throughout the day because it was actually a warm day for these puppers. And got to learn all about them. Their ideal temperature to run is negative 17. We grow a third, almost that third coat in the winter time, so it really helps insulate all of them. So that's why we get pretty hot. One of the fascinating things that we learned is that because the dogs hydrate primarily with snow. They really don't drink any water. We fill up their buckets on hotter days like today and some other days, but they use it as freeze. Good Times Adventure will make a meat stew for the dogs with the scraps from a local restaurant called Heartstone. Five star restaurant, we get all our scraps from including elk, salmon, bison. They eat better than us in the winter time. The dogs will also dunk their head in the snow to cool off. We also learned that Alaskan Huskies can run about 10 miles faster than Siberian Huskies. Wait, so what happens to the dogs in warmer weather? These dogs can grow several fur coats and adapt according to the temperature where they're living in. So these guys only shed twice a year since they live outside and then they actually blow out their summer coat to regrow the winter. But Huskies that live in the environment, yes. so they're pretty adaptable. Uh. Good boy. For Good Times Adventures, the springtime is their active adoption season. Girl, oh my goodness, all the puppies. And in the summertime, you can still enjoy time with them. In the summer, you can come up, hang out with these guys, meet and greet and play with all of our dogs. And we take them on, hook them up to golf carts to exercise them. So they go every two to three days, about two miles, versus every single day in the winter. It was finally our turn to drive the sled. Unfortunately, I had a mild sprain in my knee, so I could only be a passenger, which meant that Adam got twice the amount of drive time. Wait, antsy. Mm -hmm. Be kind to me. Good job. Thank you. How are you feeling? Oh, this is so much fun. Just did our first run. You get to like lean into it. Oh, it's so much fun doing it. Our next break, we learned a little bit about Swan River Valley. Yeah, the so Swan River is where they found the largest gold nugget, which is super cool. Um, According to goldrushnuggets.com, Tom's baby is the largest solid chunk of gold ever found in Colorado. It was found in 1887 by miners at the Gold Flake Mine in Breckenridge. It got its unique name because it was said that the finder, Tom Groves, would carry it around like a baby. Up there, guys, that white area is the Continental Divide. So anything east goes to the Mississippi, all water. Or if you want to go out there and pee, west goes to the Pacific. <laughs> oh, the <good> shake. The <laughs> shake. Okay, next riding montage. Hello, hurry, sweet puppy. Oh. Let me not encourage bad I know, behavior. She looks so cute doing it. It's like riding. 
riding a roller coaster. I know. So awesome. That snowed like over. This past summer, 2021, you ordered only one litter, even though they tried four three. Uh, so we have a lot of dogs retiring in the next two years. So they're a bit stressed for their puppers. These two are tangled. You're very pretty. Do you know that? Hi. She's like, oh. A lot of kennels don't run with this lead line though. So a lot of dogs just run with the tug line because their dogs are so in still going straight. Our guys would probably be like, oh, squirrel. But that's why I use a lead line. Kind of keeps everyone in check better. On the back. On to the last section. Adam's gonna drive and I'm gonna sit. Yay. Ready? Yep. Babies go fast. I know, they want to like just like fall some ass. Which is fun. I know. Eee. They're letting off so much snow. <laughs> Coming in for a landing. We had such a great ride with the dogs and Brooke. What a truly unique experience. Y'all like, are such good puppies. Oh my goodness. You did so good. You did so good. Bye puppies. Bye puppies. You guys were so fun. To conclude our ride, we cheered to some yummy hot chocolate and said goodbye to the dogs. I want to say a huge thank you to Anna's parents, Tony and Jalma. Thank you. Thank you so much for gifting this for Christmas. You finally got to use it. It was magical. It was amazing. And a big thank you to Good Times Adventure, especially our guide, Frick. She was so awesome. But not only that, everybody was like super friendly. Um, over at Good Times Adventures. They all wanted to inquire about what it is that we were doing and they were super camera friendly. So big thank you to you guys. Yeah, the dogs are also camera friendly. Oh gosh, those <laughs> dogs are so amazing. We keep getting our lick faces licked. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, Adam. Please hit the subscribe button and like this video. We would absolutely love you for it. And Rob, you have to get uh, RV real quick. Hold on. <laughs> if you haven't already, please follow us on Instagram. That way you know when new vlogs are coming out. Precisely, and he already said it, subscribe and follow us for our future adventures. Click on one of the links below. It helps to support this channel mm -hmm. and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye. Bye. Do you smell snacks? Do you smell snacks? I bet you do. I think he's got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in there. Right, Audrey. Hi, did you want love? Oh, there he goes again. Oh yeah, he's like, I got peanut oh, I hear that. Nice. Oh, somebody farted. <laughs>